They're the giants of the social media world, and at the US political conventions, they've turned their online presence into a real life one. Facebook and Twitter have set up brick and mortar sites at both conventions, a powerful reminder of the unprecedented role they and other social media platforms like Snapchat and YouTube are playing in this election process. Twitter has become the lifeblood of this election, both candidates using Twitter to announce their VP nominees. After Melania Trump's speech, it was actually on Twitter that the story broke, comparing it to Michelle Obama's 2008 speech. Every major breaking news development of these two conventions has broken first on Twitter and driven the agenda for the next day. Four years ago, during the previous U.S. political conventions, Facebook and Twitter shared the same small space on the so-called Radio Row. At the Republican convention, Radio Row was dubbed Media Row in a sign of how the times have changed. Facebook now boasts nearly 1.6 billion monthly active users, up 60% from the last election in 2012. And according to a new survey by the Pew Research Center, a majority of US adults, 62% of them, get news on social media. And the tech giants are trying to capitalize on that at the conventions. Facebook alone has three areas at the conventions. Here at the lounge, there are live data screens showing which candidates and topics are being discussed the most. And for the first time, their live video streaming feature is really on show with studios that media organizations and others can use. What we've got now for the first time is people have the power to broadcast live TV right there in their pocket. So anybody can broadcast and anybody can watch. And what we've seen is people will watch a live video up to three times longer than they will a regular video. So it's really been a big hit. But it's not just the tech giants themselves who are benefiting from more eyes on the small screens. Donald Trump has had particular success in getting noticed online. Social media management company Socialflow estimates Americans have spent a staggering 2,171 years reading about Trump in the last 12 months, while they've spent less than half that on his Democratic rival Hillary Clinton. You just take the amount of attention he's gotten, if he had to buy all of that attention, you could roughly assume it'd be around 500 million. Hillary Clinton is a little bit more than half of that. We'll call it around $300 million worth of attention. Now, that's what we've gotten to date. Uh, obviously, uh, not all of that attention is positive, right? If you say something inflammatory, it's going to generate a lot of attention. And th then you get into the philosophical question of, is all media good media? So while this once may have been a made-for-TV moment, if social media consumption continues to grow, election campaigns of the future may be watched more through the small screen than the big one. Jade Barker for RTB News.